Calgary City Council will decide on April 1st how to head off a, a big hike in business property taxes. Councillors are considering several options for dealing with the tax trouble. It's been created by depressed downtown property values. Giancarlo Carra says thousands of businesses are at risk if the current tax burden continues on local business outside of the core. He's calling this an unprecedented situation that will require homeowners to share in the pain. Councillor Evan Woolley is also calling for homeowners to share the burden as well as a spending cut in this year's budget as using money from the city's rainy day fund. Danielle Smith from 770 CHCR joining this morning. Uh, continuing this conversation on your show this morning, Danielle, uh, it is a big talker and um, it is something that we as Calgarians all share in in some way or another. Well, people are going to be mad. I don't think there's any way around it because every time there's a marginal increase in the property tax rate that might add $30 to your property tax bill, people are outraged by it. What Evan Woolley is proposing is a $500 increase to the property tax bill. Now, to put it into context, that still would make Calgary one of the lowest jurisdictions for residential property taxes in the area. I know because I live in High River. If I took my home and plopped it down in Calgary, rather than paying uh, for $4,500 in taxes, which I do in High River, I'd be paying about $2,500 in taxes in Calgary. And so this has been one of the things that has been a bit of a bragging point for, for politicians and mayors over the years is, oh, Calgary homeowners have one of the lowest property taxes. Well, who pays for things then? It's been loaded up on the business side, which was great as long as we had rich companies in downtown Calgary that were able to subsidize it. But with the hollowing out of downtown, what's happening is that tax burden is now being shifted to small businesses. And small businesses are going under all over the city because they can't bear the burden. So ultimately, if you kill your business sector, someone's going to have to pay those taxes anyway. And so he is expediting this, hoping to get a better balance. Once you get a better balance on what the uh, businesses pay, then you can have the opportunity to attract more of them into Calgary. Calgary has been one of the worst jurisdictions at overcharging its business community. Um, in past, they have, have, have had to pay six times the amount homeowners have done. They've lowered it a bit. They're now only paying four times what homeowners have done. But Evan Woolley is really going to try to push this along. So we'll talk to him today about his plan and get a lot of reaction, no doubt. Look forward to hearing that plan and, of course, the reaction too, which uh, comes from all over. Thanks, Danielle.